So should imaging be part of MRD evaluation? Absolutely yes, and mainly for two reasons. First of all, because we know that infiltration of bone marrow in multiple myeloma is not homogeneous, and we do have extramedullary localization. And this is not only the case for relapsed myeloma, but also for patients in complete remission. And this was clearly demonstrated in several studies. And the second reason is that nowadays we do have the tools to uh, evaluate response to therapy also with imaging techniques. This was not the case when only whole body X-ray was existing, but now we have techniques which are able to evaluate uh, bone marrow uh, infiltration and disease metabolism. And so this is the reason why the International Myeloma Working Group updated uh, the response criteria and formally insert this category, which is named imaging MRD, which is also part of the category sustained MRD. So uh, this was clearly demonstrated in several prospective studies that uh, approximately one third of the patients in complete remission can maintain some focal lesion outside the bone marrow. And their prognosis is significantly worse in terms of progression-free survival and overall survival in comparison to patients who are completely negative by imaging techniques. So which imaging techniques can we use? Uh, we can use mainly PET-CT with FDG, but there are also initial experiences with diffusion-weighted uh, whole body MRI. Regarding the first technique, we do have three prospective trials who demonstrated the prognostic significance of MRD negativity by PET and the standardization project of the technique is ongoing. On diffusion-weighted MRI, uh, the way to go is a little bit more longer because the experience is based on a small number of patients, mainly retrospectively. Uh, so this is the reason why the International Myeloma Working Group by now is recommending PET-CT as the preferred imaging technique. But for sure in the future, uh, when maybe other prospective trials on diffusion weight MRI will show at least the non-inferiority or even the superiority with PET-CT, we will have a second tool. So for sure the next step to go is to compare these two techniques and to go on with the standardization project of the techniques.